I've put together a number of fabric samples here that I'd like to show you that are actually scraps of fabrics from garments that I've made. So I've had some experience with them and I know that there are serious challenges that I can talk about as we go through them. When we first started talking about knits many years ago, probably the single knit that we had access to was a very opaque, solid colored, not very stretchy cotton knit called cotton interlock, such as this really nice blue. This happens to be a very nice one, and it is a contemporary knit that you can still buy, but it's not the kind of knit that we're necessarily going to be talking about in this class. A new fiber that has really taken over the market is viscose. Viscose is a rayon. It's actually a process of making a rayon. And I would say some of the nicest knits that are coming out of Europe are actually made from rayon viscous. This one is particularly interesting because it has a burnout so that there is some transparency to part of it because of a chemical process that's used to remove some of the fibers. Another new fiber that has really come on strong is the use of bamboo. This is very tricky to sew. It's very drapey, very soft. And in this class, I will be using this fabric for many of the samples, so you'll get an idea of how to work with this fabric. Another term that's relatively new is ponte. Ponte is like the old double knits that we may be familiar with from the 70s, but it has a new little wrinkle to it in that it has a little horizontal line to it, very faint, very fine, but that's what identifies it. It's made in both rayon and polyesters. The rayon pontes are the better ones of those two choices. One of the fibers that's been around for a while is slinky. Slinky is exactly that. It just slinks all over your body. It's super drapey, very difficult to sew, but it takes off pounds and it's really very attractive on your body. Not quite as in fashion as it once was, and there are some of them that are not uh, as good a quality as others and they tend to sag and bag, but look for a good quality one and uh, you'll be instantly thinner. Another fabric that I really like is a French terry. This is all over ready to wear these days in some fun casual wear. It's smooth on one side and then the other side is exactly what it says. It's like a terry cloth loopy texture although it's very fine, not like a Turkish towel particularly, but nevertheless, two different textures. And even though we consider the smooth side the right side, there's nothing wrong with incorporating the wrong side as decorative elements or using the wrong side for the entire garment. A good old standard is wool jersey. Wool jersey is wonderful. It's drapey, it's beautiful, it's luxurious. I love to wash it and shrink it and actually felt it, but you can use it either way, washed or unwashed. Occasionally we will run into some knits made out of silk. Not very often, but you can bet that they're a little bit more money. They're beautiful, they have a slight sheen to them. I see them in a lot of prints, not necessarily in so many solid colors, but a really gorgeous fabric to wear, very comfortable to wear on your skin. A new term that really is just new to me within the last few months is ITY. Fabrics are identified by ITY, which means that there's a little bit of twist to the manufacturing of the fabric, and it has a slight grip to it when you sew it, so it's a little bit easier to sew. But they're generally polyester, and that can be a little bit hot. Now I want to show you some sweater knits. I love sweater knits. They come in all kinds of fibers. This one is a nice heather uh, fiber that, that is in cotton. And this looks like something that you could knit, although it's pretty fine, so it would take you a while. But it definitely has reads as a knit side and pearl side fabric, cotton knit. I love this texture. This is a beautiful rayon knit, sweater knit. This one has a little bit of glitter to it. And this one is viscous, back to the rayon again. Very comfortable, washes easily, as do most knits, actually. 
And then we've been hearing, of course, about Missoni, the Italian designer, and lots of knits are showing up. This is a classic Bargello design, and this is actually a Missoni knit. So it's quite expensive, but oh, to make a beautiful Missoni sweater on your own and not have to pay the high price of ready-to-wear, now we can do that because these fabrics are available.